Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry here, back again with another Tabletop Ready Tips for the Rest of Us, where I take you through some basic tips to get your stuff tabletop ready. Today I am going to be working on the color yellow. Uh, as you can see here, I have a couple of my nids out. I uh, just wanted to show them off. They're all in different stages of the yellow painting process. Um, I have painted quite a few things yellow. Um, I've got a really simple technique. Uh, it seems to work fairly well, and I thought I'd share that with you guys today. So, uh, I'm going to start off. Uh, obviously, you're going to build and prime the model. Um, you want to go with a white primer uh, with this yellow technique that I'm using, simply because it's going to give you the best base. If you go with a, a black primer, you're going to get uh, you're going to have to go really thick with a lot of the um, with the yellow, and it's just it's just easier to work up with a with a bright color like yellow to to, to, to work back down uh, from white. So I'm going to start. You know, after you build it, prime it white. So there we have a <clears throat> a uh, example here. So I'm just going to put that to the side. Next up, <clears throat> this is not a paid advertisement. This is just, uh, almost dropped it here, but uh, this is not a paid advertisement. I don't work for these guys. This is out of my own money. Um, I bought this stuff, Army Painter. Uh, this is the Color Primer Demonic Yellow. Uh, this stuff works really well for the type of yellow that I'm going for, um, and it knocks out about 50% of the paint time right off the bat after you prime it, just base cut everything yellow. Um, as you can see here are some of the results. It covers fairly well. Um, these two Tiered Warriors are two examples of poorly painted, <laughs> poorly primed models. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out too well, but this one I went a little bit too thick on the yellow and it actually obscured some of the detail. Uh, I can work around that though. Um, with this technique it doesn't really matter, but you want to avoid going this heavy. Uh, this one is not heavy enough. There's still a lot of white primer that you can see, um, but uh, that's why I don't have them on the, the base. I'm actually going to reprime this guy later. So, uh, But I'm not working on these two tiered warriors right now. <laughs> what I am working on are these warriors. These are some uh, weapon upgrades for the squads that I already have painted uh, using this technique. So as you can see here, fairly even prime, prime coverage there. A couple of barb stranglers, a couple of uh, venom cannons that I wanted to, uh, to get in the squads. So I actually built this one backwards with the arm underneath instead of or sorry, over the top instead of underneath, but doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what that one, this probably needs a couple of sprays real quick, but I'm just focusing on the the skin, I guess you want to call it, instead of the, the armored plating. Uh, that doesn't really need to get primed yellow. As you can see here on the back, I kind of skimped on this one because I'm going to be painting that differently anyway, but I'm just focusing on the yellow on this technique. So prime them yellow, that's the next step. The third step in the process after priming white and then base coating yellow with the spray primer um, is actually to wash them. There's two washes I like to use for this step. Um, I don't know what they're called now, but uh, the first one, if you want a lighter yellow, uh, maybe uh, you want to go for a less organic or less dirty look, you want to go with the Griffin Sepia tone, uh, a wash, a light lighter brown wash basically, um, almost gold in some, some instances. Uh, lighter wash, uh, that's going to give you, this one's kind of, I started off doing the sepia on this one and I changed over to the flesh wash. So this one's a little bit lighter, a little bit thinner on the wash department on this one. And this Venom Throat, this is one of the new uh, fail cast stuff, so it's kind of bendy, so I'm not too worried about breaking it. <laughs> anyway, um, as you can see here, it's been washed. Uh, it's already dried and you're going to get that kind of a look with it. This, this step is really important because that's going to basically, uh, that's your undercoat, that's all the detail making it pop back out. So um, go fairly light. If you need to go back over it again, um, don't be afraid to. Uh, it's your model, go as, as dark on the wash as you want. Uh, but we are going to be bringing that back up to bright yellow. So, and again, this is the Ogren Flesh. This is the other wash that I use. This is a darker brown. Uh, works really well um, for this type of coloring. So that's what you're going to get. Uh, with the two washes. So I'm actually going to do the Venom Thropes uh, for this tutorial. The next thing you're going to do is you're just going to get some yellow paint, which I've got a couple of different yellows here I want to show off. Uh, the next highlight step basically is, is the new layer paint from GW. This is the Flash Kitsch Yellow. Um, this one's a little bit more orange. I used to use straight up Sunburst Yellow, um, but they stopped making it. And you can see here, they're fairly close. This one's actually a slightly uh, slightly lighter shade of yellow than this one. Um, if you put them next to each other on the model, it's really hard to tell, but I can tell because I've painted a lot of yellow <laughs> in my day. So, uh, but that's the next step is you're just gonna, gonna go through the really thin down paint and uh, let me get that set up and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. 
Okay, so I've got the flash gets yellow. Um, I'm not gonna do the whole model on camera simply because the camera's actually in my way right now. But I wanna show this off, so I'm just going to take a, open it up. I've given it a good shake. Uh, it's a little, little thick right now. Uh, I've got a base coat brush here. Uh, getting it a little wet. I'm not gonna take all the water off. Still have a little water on there. Just gonna give it a quick swipe so the, the, the brush is still a little damp. Then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put some paint on the brush. Then I'm actually gonna get, dip it wet real quick and give it a couple of quick, quick swipes in the paintbrush. So, or in the paint, the water brush, water, uh, water thing there. Cup, thank you. <laughs> so I have about that much paint on the brush still, as you can see here. Um, and then I'm just gonna go over really, real lightly. I'm just doing the tops of the, uh, of the, um, the highest points of the model here. And I'm gonna do a really thin coat because this is probably gonna take one or two coats uh, to do properly. Um, but like I said, I don't wanna do the whole model on camera just because it's actually in my way right now. But that's the general idea is you're gonna do a really thin coat. Um, you can already see it's covering up some of the model or some of the, uh, the, the color there uh, just to compare. So you can see a little bit. This is still fairly translucent. Uh, it's Like I said, it's probably gonna take two coats uh, based on how much ink I used on the, the previous step. But the best part is when you're working with two models, you can probably do this whole model with the light thin coat and then do the other model. This one will be dry and you can go back and back uh, back and forth. So I'm going to do that off camera uh, using some editing magic and then I'll come back and show you guys the final result. So I just finished up the uh, the first Venom Throw here. I haven't touched it because I wanted to sh the second one because I wanted to show you guys the difference uh, just so you can see for yourself. Um, this one obviously has not had the the highlight in the yellow. This one has had the highlight in yellow done. Um, you can kind of tell there's a big difference in the overall tone of the yellow. I even did the inside, it's kind of hard to see uh, based on those angles, but you can kind of get a good idea. Um, you can still clearly see this one's got a wash <clears throat> sitting on the top. This one's had the, uh, the wash. You, and again, the idea is not that you want to cover up everything in from the wash you want that you want that brown there for that recess uh for the darker shade so that's that's the idea eventually though um that's that's pretty much how i do all the yellow uh there's one last step which is to highlight one last time with the brightest yellow you can get which is why i still have my um my other yellow here sunburst yellow um the reason i i will save that for the very end is i've got two examples here i want to show uh this is the horror specs that i did um, you can you can tell it's pretty bright yellow <laughs> all over. Uh, that's what you want to go for at the end of it. Is this this is only two? I think I might have done three layers of yellow, um, and then I did all the details. But once you do the details, obviously, uh, once you do the, the the armor plating and all that fun stuff, I have my secondary color, obviously, which is green, um, which I've I've done across the model here to to make to contrast with that that the darker green to contrast with that bright yellow. Um, it's very alienly, alien looking and, and kind of gross. So that's why I did that. But once you do the details, even on these little guys, especially with these tentacles that are coming off of the venom throbes and all that stuff, they're going to look more like this guy here where they have that green um, kind of subtle look. But with that armor plate, it really sets it off really well. Um, this technique works really well. This is, this is by the way, with the, uh, the old one I've done with uh, Summer Yellow, which is why this one's slightly brighter than the uh, horror specs, which I didn't use that on yet. So, um, but uh, my point is, <laughs> uh, that's not the finished model, you know what I'm saying? So this would be a finished, ready to go thing. So once you do your secondary color. What I was trying to say is if this technique works on pretty much anything that's gonna be yellow, um, for instance, Imperial Fists, I know that's a pretty big thing to do right now for Marines. It's yellow is not that scary of a color to do uh, it does take a little bit more patience than some of the easier colors, but it is very, very doable, um, and it looks really cool, really contrasty on the tabletop. So I would encourage you to play around with yellow. Get in there and, and give it a shot. Um, yeah. Um, again, it's just flash gets yellow on top of the Army Painter Primer stuff, demonic yellow, and then uh, just the wash in between. So. It's not complicated. Give it a shot. Try it out. Yellow's your buddy. Mill yellow. Anyway, this is Adam here from Bowls. This is another tabletop ready. Hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, question, comments, uh, anything you want to talk about down in the comments as far as the yellow painting, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, let me know. Adam here from Bull signing off. Have a good one.